I mean, for me, I think uh, if you were to really, really talk about violence, if you were to really talk about violence, you would give it, you would talk about it from a realistic standpoint. Like when people glorify getting shot, there's a problem with that in my book. Because to me, there's no honor in getting shot. I mean, there's no honor in getting jumped. And there's no honor in getting stabbed up. And not to say that you shouldn't have to defend yourself if you have to, because I mean, you know, even the Quran says, you know, an eye for an eye, there is a time to kill. But true enough, when you talk about people's words, see, words are more powerful than anything. And when you glorify these things, what you're telling the youth is it's okay. It's okay to go out and shoot somebody. It's okay to go out and stab somebody up. It's okay to go out and rob somebody or beat somebody's mother up. And that's not cool in my book. Question: uh, well, You said hip, uh, violence always been related to hip hop, but old school never glorified it or put it in the music as much as it is now. Well, see, I mean, I don't see. I'm, I'm not from the old school. How well. I am. <laughs> True. <laughs> this brother here is one of the reasons why I'm here. You know, because because of that era, they gave us a chance to open up and express what we had on our minds, and they gave us a chance to open up. Um, to a, a open up the world of hip-hop to a whole nother genre. But in regards to violence, I, I agree with you. People like Melly Mel, if you listen to the message and stuff like that, they didn't glorify violence. They talked about it, and they talked right, about right. it from a very realistic standpoint, and they didn't glorify it. Yeah. Because well, old school wasn't a, a corporate product anyway. That's, that's what it's about. That's, what, that's, that's where exactly I was going. That's exactly what's going on. We owned it. On agenda. So, we owned it then. Yeah. See, now... Everybody focusing on the artist and trying to kill the messenger for the violence, but it's corporate-sponsored violence. You understand what I'm saying? So you got to understand that, that there's a, a reason why sex... Look, think about it. America. Sex, violence, drugs. That's American problem. Ain't no violence in hip-hop. It's a violence in our lives. If you take the violence out the streets of the everyday lives of young people, then the violence will come out the music. they just talking about what it is. And those same corporate sponsors are not giving $30 million to a tribe called Quest or X-Clan, but they'll give it to Young Greasy and Young Grimy. <laughs> So what you want? You want that money? Then you got to do this. You got to talk about this. Corporate-sponsored violence, government-sponsored violence, 500 years of oppression. What do you think? Cats going to be walking around still dancing like Big Daddy Kane? It's hard in the hood. We got kids growing up 12 years old with Glocks because their moms is on crack. They sell crack because every month, the first of the month, the money go out the door. So instead of letting the money go out the door, I'm going to give my mom the rocks myself and get that money and feed me and my brothers and sisters and pay the rent and the light bill. So, so it's corporate sponsored violence, period. I mean, okay, also, for those that don't know, that's Brother Paradise. I mean, Black Watch and Effect, you know what I'm saying? I mean, and they were, you know, our leaders.